You, uh, you're doing something together. Something's happened. And you can't uh, stay apart. We no. can't. No. Tried. What are you going to do? We're going to do. You tell. Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to do um, much ado about nothing. Yes. Shakespeare's says much ado about nothing. In uh, London's glittering West End. West End. At uh, the Wyndham's Theatre. Uh, he's playing Benedict. I'm playing Beatrice. Well, don't give too much. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you play. So the characters are uh, lovers. Well. Well, they're kind of. <laughs> yes, they're slightly combative. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they seem to be the, the kind of ideal match for each other, but they can't quite accept that. Okay. I think would be and fair to see. And it's kind of last knockings for them, really. Yes, yes. You know, so it's a now or never moment for them. And, I th and, th and they've got a lot of history, haven't they? Yes. So there's a lot of um, chemistry between them, but they put on the front that they despise each other. They argue quite a lot, yeah. I, okay, yeah, I was just going to ask, people might have been expecting, given your television profile, yeah. both of you are huge television stars, that you know, doing something together, you might have done it on yeah. television, but you're choosing, obviously very deliberately, to do something on stage together. I mean, wh what's, the, what's the rationale behind that one? Is it something you, you know, how did that come about? Well, I, I, think, I think for both of us, the, the theatre's where we both started, really, and it's, it, it still, to me, feels like my proper job a little bit. Mm. And although I, I've gone and had the opportunity to do lots of exciting things elsewhere on TV and uh, on films and so on, uh, going back to the theatre feels like I, something that I would naturally mm. do. And to get the chance to do it with, go to work with your mates and do a play that you've always wanted to do just felt like uh, an opportunity that was too good to miss, really. Mm. So did they approach you both at the same time? Was the idea, let's no, get... No, the, the idea was, was, came from yeah, us. Right. We yeah. went to them. Because um, I'd, I'd always wanted to do it, but had never said. Because I thought it was too close to the Doctor Who time. When I, when I was thinking about us doing right. it, I thought, oh, I won't do it. Well, I, I just thought, well, I don't I had care. Enough, it, well, no, but, it, but no, enough time has gone. Because I was yeah, thinking of doing yeah. it ages ago. Do you mean, when you say doing it, a, a working with, with David? With David. Mm -hmm. He's okay. been absolutely my ideal Benedict. And then David just rang in the summer and said, look, I'd like to do it. What do you think? And I, and I said, oh, God, I've been wanting to ask him that for years. And David, so, uh, David's talked about his... his Stage experience, Catherine. You, you, you have you're in oh. on stage. I mean, in a play at the moment. Yes, I mean, uh, season's greeting. She's terribly good. Now. You really should go and see it. <laughs> the, I, the way you talk, I'm not. I, were you friends before Doctor Who, or have you been no. friends since then? No, si since it was. No, it was on the Runaway Bride. Yeah. There was a, there was a, okay. uh, we first met when, when Catherine has this tiny little appearance at the end of one of the series. Yeah. This, oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. And, and w that was the first time we met. That you came for literally kind of a half, did, half hour yeah, shoot. Yeah, um, yeah. But we've done lots of different things as well as Doctor Who since then. We were, you know, we've been DJs together. Oh, we've been DJs. David's always very kind and does lots of things on. That needs a bit of explaining. Comedy. DJs. What do you mean, DJs? DJs yeah. as in um, we used play, to be, on we the used, radio. Yeah, we used to fill in for Jonathan, Jonathan Ross, Ross when he was off. I had a vision of you sort of in a nightclub. What, somewhere. like that? Big shout going <laughs> yeah. out to a man named Dave. <laughs> Quite like that. <laughs> yeah, um, I see DGs. We didn't press any of the buttons. No. The, uh, <laughs> we, we we've been trailing all morning the fact that you're doing a big project together and, in, and we've revealed you know, what it is and, and I know the tickets will, will start going on sale. Now, from, no, I think us yeah. seeing this makes it happen. Somebody it's in a room just pressed a button. Yeah. Yes. And I, because when you were, did Hamlet, I mean, how soon was it before tickets were completely sold out? It, it happens in, can happen in a moment, can't it? Because yes. you two are so high profile and people want to see you back together. God, I hope, I hope that's true. That. I know that'll be it. We'll close after four. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or everyone go, oh, we'll never get a ticket without we won't bother. Yeah, we'll, 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 <laughs> everyone does it. Something tells me it won't be like that. Can oh, I ask no. about the dynamic? Because you were saying it's good to work with a mate. Yeah. yeah. Is that always the case? I mean, I mean, is there a danger of being knowing someone too well? I mean, when you when you start, I mean, I assume this is in June. It starts in June, doesn't it? It starts in May. May, May. May. sixteenth is the okay. first, okay. first performance. So I mean, you'll start rehearsing. I don't know when you in when April. would you start April, rehearsing. Yeah. Yeah. So when you that get on stage like and long. start doing the read-throughs and stuff, does that feel? Is it instantly comfortable, or I mean, is it sometimes helpful if you don't know someone because you've got to do that I think process? It depends. Um, it probably depends on on the the project and depends on on who you're talking about. But I think we've always enjoyed working together. Yeah. Um, specific, you know, specifically working together as well as you, you know hanging out. But uh, I, I I think. It, we've always felt comfortable and enjoyed that. So. Yeah, and it it is nice to do a project that is, uh, you know, it, I suppose it on it, it's quite a a big venture. So to have a shorthand with someone that you're playing mm. opposite is is a, is a very good thing. One of the things I suppose that's good about this is that people who might not have gone to theatre normally yeah. will be drawn to it because of your names from elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, is there a danger that people come to the show 
and expect to see Catherine Tate, funny lady, uh, off, yeah. off the show that you did, David mm. Tennant, the Doctor you know, Who, wacky yeah. Doctor Who character. I mean, I mean well, it's not dangerous, I suppose, but they, that might be in people's heads a little bit. Um, I certainly, I'm that, I mean, when I did Shakespeare a couple of years ago, that, that never happened. People came, I think, and, were, and just were mm. wanting to see it and were open to... I mean, I think it's certainly true that because we've done things like Doctor Who elsewhere, that, that allows us to take a Shakespeare play straight into the West End, which isn't something that necessarily happens, you know, so... Yeah, that, You know, I'm, I'm quite happy to exploit that. What, what, yeah. yeah, and, and you know, even if people are coming to do that, as long as they come with it, even if what their intention is is to think that I'll go, go on stage and say I'm a bothered, yeah. and you'll say, here's my sonic screwdriver, it will become apparent that we won't be doing that. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll Maybe enjoy the it anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, Just an outtake. Yeah. <laughs> and Catherine, do people mostly, when people accost you in the street, like people think they kind of kinda can, um, do they mostly do the Am I Bothered and ask about the, the sketch with the Prime Minister, the former they, Prime they Minister? They mostly or? ask me to quote uh, Little Britain catchphrases. <laughs> That, oh. That's the joy. That's the joy when getting they say, you mixed up with a Matt Lucas say, character. Oh, oh well, or the, or the best one, getting me saying, "Go on, do it. Do that one. What's that one you do?" And I go, oh, "What one do you want?" And they go, uh, "Computer says no." <laughs> <laughs> Computer says no. I mean, not even randomly yeah. like me, but <laughs> but I always what do, do it. What do you do? You don't do. Of course I do. I'm a performing monkey. When it comes well, to I suppose, David, I suppose you don't have the, it's not a catchphrase in quite the same way for Doctor Who, is there? I suppose not, no. Allons-y. No. Uh, it's that presumably photographs thing. and autographs. Yeah, and yeah. Colin yeah. Huck once thought I was Christopher Eccleston, but that's the closest I've had to that. <laughs>